So after a crazy first month of the season, traveling around, racing a ton, seeing new tracks, it was time for us to head back home to Oregon for a quick break. Well, my mom and Carly just dropped us off at the airport. They're staying in Tulsa this week. My dad and I and uh, Blake actually has to head home too. So all three of us are flying out of Tulsa. We're heading back to Medford for a couple of days. Not gonna lie, excited to be home. Just wanna snap my fingers and be there. Been on the road now for about a month. And even though we're kind of close to the end of the trip, I just need to get home for a couple of things and it's gonna be nice to spend a couple days there. That is always a good chance to kind of reset, get away, and then um, come back you know, better than ever. Like I said, I haven't been home in, in, a, in about a month, which I guess really isn't that long. But for us, you know, as we've kind of eased into this, that's the longest I've ever been away. And it's just going to be really nice to see my room, kind of spend a couple days in more of a normal routine, see all the normal streets, all the restaurants, everything we drive by every day, um, you know, my, my hometown, all that great stuff. I, I'm always been more of a home person. And so I think that's one of the tougher parts about what we're trying to do is, is being away. You definitely get used to it, but... It, uh, it can be tough, so we're gonna head and go through security now and go find our gate. So now what can be, in my opinion, one of the worst parts of the travel day, just trying to get through security, is complete. Just as I say that, sun is rising over that way. We're gonna now head on over to the gate and wait for our time to board. It's a nice bag, Dad. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we just got off our uh, plane. Unfortunately, we were sitting on the runway in Tulsa for like an extra 25 minutes. So now we have like 10 minutes here in Denver to get to our next uh, our next plane back home into Medford in Southern Oregon. The only problem is we have to run about 90 gates, and we got to go from and we got to go from um, we're in B terminal. We got to go to A terminal. So we got to run 50 gates this way, get on a train, and then go 50 gates the other way. If you've ever been to Denver, it's a complete zoo. Not, not a good situation here. We're gonna have to get past some of our lap traffic here in front of us and start making some serious moves. Do you want me to run away ahead? Yeah. You tell him to hold the plane? Tell him to hold it. I think we'll be okay, but look at this. So with how far we had to go, I actually decided that I better pick up the pace in case I needed to get there ahead of time and try to hold the plane. <laughs> Dad is way back there. Dad is way back there. He's, he's coming though. Once I got rolling, I was actually making moves here in and out of traffic, just going left or right, wherever I had to, to get a clear path, but the airport was extremely crowded. My dad just needs to get on one of the golf carts and have him haul him there. <laughs> Okay, we're looking a little better. We're just getting to the train. Hey, is this the train to? This is to A gates. A gate, okay. Yep, yes sir, yes sir. So when I got to the train, I was actually looking good on time. So I waited for a minute and then gave my dad a call to see if he was close. And this is when I quickly realized he actually missed his turn and was still walking down the B gates and wasn't headed to where I was. Do you not know where to go? Do you not know where to go? This meant I had to walk back the wrong direction and try to find him. No, you're no, you're right. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna come find you. I'm gonna come find you. I see you. Here. Here. This way. Okay. So that could have been disastrous. We lost a little bit of time there, but luckily I found him. There was another train coming, and we were headed in the right direction for our gate. You know, the only thing that feels good is we're not the only ones that are running. I see, you know, every couple seconds you see someone full sprint here. So there's a lot of people in the same boat. <laughs> Get off. 
I need an Uber service here. Made it to our gate. <laughs> we did it. We made it. We're on our way. I feel to like I'm trying to change an axle <laughs> in the hot bed. Yeah, that's. And a top wing. And, <laughs> and everything in a brand new car. We made it. We oh, are I now. I made it. I took. I, I went off the track. My dad. Yeah, he. Yeah, he. He went the wrong way. But we're homebound to Medford. So just got off the plane. We are back in the 541. Feels really good. Today was um, a little bit of a rough travel day with just some delays, then trying to just make our flight home. Then we sat on the runway for another half hour. Just a lot of sitting down and stuff, but good to be in the Rogue Valley, blue skies, beautiful day. Spring is here and summer is just right around the corner. <laughs> Well, look at this. We have now officially made it back home and inside the race shop, we got two fresh Triple X racing chassis sitting here behind me, framing bodies. Huge shout out to Triple X, excited for the partnership we have this season. It's nice as we're trying to build up our inventory on cars and parts. You know, we got two frames sitting here and after hurting that one that we started the season with and now it's sitting upstairs in the trailer and we gotta fix it when we get back home. It's nice to have equipment here and ready to be put together. We don't have all the parts we need yet where we could snap our fingers and these things would be sitting on the ground but we're working our way in that direction and especially over the month of May really trying to get our program where we want it so we can hit June July August and September really hard and then just in general it just feels great to be back inside the shop all of what we're doing now just makes me wish that we had more racing out this way like they do in the Midwest where you could travel within a couple of hours and see so many different tracks and race for pretty good money as much as they make fun of guys for staying on the porch and Pennsylvania I'm sure it's great to you know be at home all the time and still get to race and you know win some big shows and race with the outlaws and race with high limit and us guys out west we just don't have as much of that opportunity and don't have as many big shows and we're forced to travel thousands of miles and maybe that just means in the future our home will have to be more out that direction and that's you know one of my ultimate goals but thank you guys so much for watching we had a good travel day we're gonna be monitoring the weather this week to see uh, what is our best options things don't look good there's some pretty gnarly storms rolling in um, over the Iowa, Missouri, Oklahoma, Kansas area. So who knows what's going to happen with all that. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching and we will talk soon. Deuces.